Hello, welcome to another tactical video. Today I'll uh, be talking about the heavy weapons platoon. How to run them, what could move, blah blah blah. Right, first off, let's start off with the heavy bolter team. Now, if you're running a full platoon of nothing but heavy weapons, like this, then your heavy bolters would actually be your most used uh, squad. Now, three shots each, strength five, AP four, they could bring down quite a bit of pain. But only to infantry and very light armour. Now, if you're going to use a full platoon of heavy weapons you're going to want one squad at least to be able to move out and capture objectives that is where your heavy bolter team would come in because they move they still get three shots each but they have to fire snapshots now three shots each they've still got chances of hitting while they're still moving you put psychic powers down to rend or whatever they could do quite a bit of damage and they're cheap so yes if you're going to use a full platoon you're going to want to use your heavy bolt team as your objective grabbing unit much needed unit in this formation next one would be the autocannons now I like autocannons because they're very versatile strength 7 they can take out infantry heavy infantry tanks and medium tanks with quite a bit of range on them as well they've got two shots each so if you're going to move them then you can move them but it's, it's not three shots each like the heavy bolters teams they are two shots each so if you're going to move them then yes I would say use the auto cannons to move about capture objectives if you need but you're going to want to have the full ballistic skill on them to be able to blow up things so we've got two units so far that personally I would use to move about and capture objectives now the next one the old las cannons now, who doesn't like a good old las cannon with full ballistic skill strength 9 AP2 you can literally make things blow up what more do you want? The most powerful handheld heavy weapon in the game. Now, Laz Cannons, they only get one shot each. So, you can move them, but then you'll be firing snapshots and you more than likely won't hit anything. So, I would say try your hardest not to move them unless you need to get out of an area that's being focused on to keep them safe and obviously if things start shooting at you go to ground get them people down on the ground as quick as possible you need to protect them you don't want to lose your, lose, lose your las cannons and obviously a lot of things in this day and age uh, can instant death them. A uh, strength, a strength six weapon could instant death them. That's only three wounds, not six. Then that's two per plate. Uh, one wound taken, a uh, strength six. That's an instant death. So that's two wounds gone. And then we move on to your mortars. Now mortars. 
they cannot fire if they move because they are blast weapons so your mortars you will need to hunker down right at the very beginning and make sure they're in deep deep cover because you do not need line of sight to fire them you can fire over the terrain because they are barrage weapons and they have the pinning special rule so these guys you want to hide up right at the very beginning of the battle you don't want the enemy to spot them you don't want to be shot at you want to keep them hidden well and just firing over the top of everything and blowing up whatever you can and then we've got the missile launcher now I can quite easily say a lot of people do not like missile launchers and the reason I can say that is I have heard lots of people say what is the reason in a missile launcher when it has the word miss in its name okay they do have a point missile launchers do miss just as much as las cannons do so in my point my opinion what's wrong with las what's wrong with missile launchers I like missile launchers they are very useful in more than one way missile launcher has three different sorts of missiles you've got the crack missile launcher strength 8 heavy so one shot strength 8 anti armor and then you've got the frag missile launcher blast small blast marker you could hit more than one enemy model it's only strength four but you could fire three of them you could be hitting nine ten models rather than just three there's a possibility of bringing down four or five models rather than the basic three and that one would be an anti-infantry but then you also, if you pay for the points, have a flak missile launcher. Now a flak missile launcher has skyfire. So if the enemy have aircraft zooming around, these guys will fire at full ballistic skill. Much better chance of hitting the flyer than anything else. So missile launchers, I find very useful in way, way more than one way. Because they have a lot of options open to them. Now obviously if you move, then you can't fire the frag missile launcher. You can only fire the crack, but at least they can still fire if you stay still you've got three different sorts of missiles you can fire if you've got the zooming round aircraft that is just out of range you can still move and fire the flak missile launcher because it's not a blast getting closer why not so all in all the full platoon if you're going to use just heavy weapons they do technically have their own roles the las cannons you really want to hunker them down at the beginning but keep a good open field of fire so you can bring down anything from distance the mortars hide them up hide them in cover just make sure they can't be seen and just pop everything over the top of everywhere the heavy bolters use them move about with them they've got a better chance of hitting with just snapshots than anything else here 
so they can go ahead and take the objectives. Auto cannons. You can move them. They do have a good chance of hitting with just snapshots, but try to hunker them down as much as possible. And then missile launchers. Missile launchers, very useful. You have loads of infantry coming at you. Hunker them down, use the frags, take them out. You've got tanks everywhere, or monstrous creatures. Use the crack missile launchers. Fire them away, bring them down. It's up to you if you want to move them forward to gain more territory or not. And then flak missile launchers, obviously if they have flying monstrous creatures or aircraft, then blatter away, bring them down. Keep them still to get the full ballistic skill, fire if you can. And then yes, we have a full platoon of heavy weapons that all have their own uses, all have their own roles and could do quite well. Right, take it easy, good gaming.